As unpleasant to admit this as it may be, economics as a science faces challenges when applied to the real world, primarily due to 1. The complexity and unpredictability of human behavior. As behavioral economics has shown, individuals are not always rational or self-interested, and thus, traditional economic models oftentimes fail to capture human behavior in its complexity. For example, an experimental paradigm called the ultimatum game that is used in economics and psychology has demonstrated that individuals are willing to reject unfair offers even if it means saying no to financial gains, as per an analysis by Guth and colleagues in 1982. 2. The fact that real-life situations are also complex and difficult to quantify, with economic data oftentimes limited or unreliable. For example, a study by Furcheri and others in 2021 highlighted the limitations of GDP as a measure of well-being during the COVID-19 pandemic. The study found that GDP fails to capture the let's call them non-monetary costs of the pandemic, such as mental health issues. 3. The fact that assumptions underlying economic models may not hold up in the real world, leading to inaccurate predictions and policy recommendations. The 2008 financial crisis exposed the limitations of models which revolved around assumptions related to rational behavior by financial institutions and efficient markets, as explained by Schiller in the same year. Despite these challenges, economics represents an important tool for understanding and ultimately addressing real-world problems. Incorporating insights from psychology, sociology, political science, and other disciplines can also help provide a more nuanced understanding of human behavior and lead to superior policy decisions. All in all, economics needs to recognize its limitations when applied to the real world, and economists would be well served to adopt a humble approach to economic analysis and policy design, with Frank Schilling and I doing our best to tackle the humility and wisdom dimension of economic thinking through our Omnia Vincit book.